All right. <laughs> Welcome back to Porn Reviews. Nick here. I want to say something so bad, I wanted, but I won't. I wanted to say something, too. I bet. Jody here. And we are reacting to some more QI. Quite interesting. And we're checking out the Leiden. Is it Leiden? Yeah. The Leiden Frost Effect. I have no idea what that is. I know what a frost is. Um, for <laughs> either Jack or I'm Robert. So or frozen something. Leiden Frost. Assume it's somebody's last name. Doesn't it sound like that's how it should be pronounced? Leiden Frost? Is that, <laughs> is that, is that like, uh, it's, mean, it's Hollish from Holland? Norwegian or Scandinavian <laughs> or something. Oh, yeah. Um, and so know. we're going to check out the Leiden Frost effect. We're going to react to it. We're going to learn a whole lot because I have no idea what they're going to talk about. If you like our reaction way, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell so you can be aware of our next uploaded videos. And if you're sitting there like so many of you are, just like, man, that was a really good reaction. They're so professional and yet entertaining. I got to get more of that. You're in luck because on this channel, we have so many, especially from QI and many other things on this channel for you to check out. So you're welcome. And really subscribe so you can see the next one. And the hand movements. Here we go demonstrate something called the Leiden ah! Frost Effect, named after a certain doctor it was Leiden Frost. Leiden. So allow me they to present the tray, which may seem rather mysterious. There we go. Um, now, essentially, what the principle is, I'll explain it first, and then you'll see it, is that when you drop some water on a very hot surface, it kind of beads into a little ball and goes around. It's often a way you test the heat of a frying pan or so on, or if you drop water accidentally onto a hot plate. And if you allow this beading to take place in, on certain surfaces, the beading is sort of predictable and rather exciting. Mm. And you can see a little bit of it on VT in which the bead is going uphill. Oh. It's being dropped from a pipette onto a very hot, ridged, sort of sawtoothed surface. And you can see the ball itself, that's, that's how it... That's how my sperm reacts with a ridged condom. <laughs> <laughs> you may be wearing it inside out. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> why, have you got, why have you got your sperm in a pipette? <laughs> Sufficient. Sufficient. <laughs> right. So, I have the pets here, and this is room temperature. I'm going to put it on uh, here, and you can see as I drop the water that uh, it's it's just nothing much oh. happens. But the beads the beads go off. Uh, and it's starting to boil and frizz, um, and as it gets hotter, you'll see the Leiden frost effect of it. Um, Listen to it. It's where the women were watching the Chippendales. Oh! <laughs> where it gets interesting is where these things have been left on the heat and so already incredibly hot. Um, and this is a little concave thing, and we drop a bit in it. It round, goes round and round and round and round and round. Rather beautifully. And now we've got another one with the sawtooth that we saw the climbing up, but this is a circular sawtooth. And it should go round and round as well. Like, yeah. Wee! Incredible speed. Look wow. at that. Oh, I don't know why young people have to go and, what, you know, play Grand Theft Auto when they've all this sort of crack to look for. I know! <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that fun? And for the grand finale, you can see here next to the uh, hot plate is uh, we've got ourselves a sort of uh, maze. And let's see what happens here. Stop! Stop. <laughs> There's That's a very water. predictable path. And they go all the way oh. around. And if they've got enough energy, they'll go around twice. There you go, big fella. That's like chasing me dad around the shopping <laughs> place. <laughs> Don't abandon me. That's it. I'm going to make you proud. That is really cool. Dad, That's super dad, cool. Dad, come back. <laughs> Thank you, Kay Takashina from the University of Bath for the loan of this splendid equipment. Bath. See, that's how it's said. It's how it's pronounced correctly. That was really cool. I enjoyed that. That was interesting. That was awesome. Yeah. I had to laugh when you had said the hand thing because somebody had just said to me earlier today, two of them, like, I love your little hound dance. And I was like, oh, oh I do a lot of. Talk with my hands a lot. Yes, I do a lot of that. I'm but. Giving you a hard time. No, I know, but Definitely it just made me laugh. But I really enjoyed that whole, I didn't realize that hot water beating could go through a maze like that. And if it has enough energy, a second time. The, cool. the things that people discover, just by yes. like, they have a question, 
they wonder about some and it probably took a long time for them to come up with those things and then I, I'm fascinated by it I think it's awesome but then I also ask myself okay what do you do with that knowledge I'm sure there's I'm sure it's led to other things that are good to know who knows safety things I have no idea but still really really cool i had no idea that just water would do that when it gets a certain temperature heat temperature hotness yes i honestly i thought the same thing so what comes next like now that you know this and i don't mean to be like that wet blanket no, and just no, to no. ruin it because it's still like, really cool yeah but that reminded me of an old show when i was a kid called mr wizard or something like that with this old man and it was so funny because it was on the disney channel so it was like five to six a.m and sometimes I'd wake up, couldn't fall asleep or whatever, couldn't go to sleep, and I'd turn on the TV because I'm addicted to it, and Mr. Wizard's on there. And I used to think it was so boring, but I would just sit there and watch it the entire time. And he's just doing science experiments. It's this old oh, dude that's cool, though. with these kids, and they're doing that. Yeah, it's all science experiments. That's cool. Um, very, very harmless. And then it would jump right into, like, cartoons or Stay by the Bell or some kind of nonsense like that. But that's what that reminded me of. Just like, here... Why don't you go get that for me and go get them? We're going to see what this does. Oh, that's really cool, Mr. Wizard. <laughs> I think his name is Mr. Wizard. Anyways. I'm going to laugh if it's like Mr. Wilson. <laughs> or Jack. <laughs> Someone was called Mr. Wizard. Maybe it wasn't him. But that kind of stuff would never be on TV anymore. Like that, It's no. like a PBS type thing. It's like thing. Bill Nye. Bill Nye. But yeah, there was like some... Boo, boo. There's like some flashness to it that his weird like little experiment yes, room that, like yes. crazy lady. Bill Nye, but it's it's guy. more like Mr. Rogers where it's just wholesome type stuff that I don't think would be around anymore. Maybe there is. I don't know. Um, and it should be around, but people making decisions they want this or that. It's like Mrs. Doubtfire in her show. Yeah, absolutely. That show would not last. No, not in a million years. But I love Mrs. Doubtfire. If you like our reaction this way, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for always watching and coming back. And until next time. Goodbye.